What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here at Blake Exotic Animal Ranch. Today, we are going to be doing our evening tours here at the ranch. Or not evening tour, more of a evening feeding. And uh, what I have in my hands right now is I have a little, nice little frozen, well, default rat, and that's gonna be for Maya. And then right here in my other hand, we have a plate for Fluffy and Petri. So let's head to the back and let's start feeding all of the animals. So follow along. So obviously first up we have Petrie because Petrie is just hangs out right here and um, yeah that's Petrie for you. We're going to go inside the cage. He only really enjoys being, he's a, they're exotic animals so they're really not for everybody. That's why you always want to make sure you do your research and stuff before you get any exotic animals. But um, yeah Petrie is a really really dope animal for me. He's calm when it's just one or two people. When there's a big crowd of people around, freaks out because he just doesn't like all the people that are around him. But other than that, he's been here now for probably, I don't know, almost two years, two and a half years, living his best life. He enjoys grapes a lot, loves bananas. Watch, I get a couple of the grapes. I always take a couple of grapes off first. There's peppers in here, there's pears, sweet potato, corn, uh, celery, banana, orange, carrots, and that is it for today. So he got a ton of different things inside of there. Come here, Petrie. Come. So you guys can come over here. Petrie, come. Petrie, come on. So today's a very calm day. There you go, Petrie. So you can come right over here. And Petrie is just an awesome little guy right here. It's okay. He didn't see me touch him right there, so that's why he was like, what are you doing? Look at him, eat those grapes. Eat those grapes, Petrie. So these are nocturnal animals. That's why we feed them at night. And he has this per hand tail right here that he uses as a fifth arm. Right here. And he uses that to balance himself, hang on to different branches, all different sorts of cool things. I'm gonna grab this plate. We're gonna give him majority of this food right here. I'm gonna give him one more grape just in case. Well, actually what we'll do is we'll give him a banana. There you go. There's that banana. He's gonna go run with that banana or maybe stay right there. And I like to spread his food out just a little bit around his enclosure, just so that he has like a little bit of enrichment inside of here. Uh, I do give him toys and different things, but he just rips them up very quickly. And um, yeah, then there goes all the toys. He's a nice little concrete piece right here. Reason why I like the concrete is it helps with his nails so I don't have to go in there and actually grab him in any weird way. He likes that camera and he'll grab that camera. That's the one thing about him. And uh, he thinks of the giant eyeball. But uh, yeah, I like having the concrete brick because then he can go down and he could grab, um, scratch up his nails with no problem without me grabbing him. So that's a really good advantage that I like to do. Okay, grab a little bit, couple more things down. The rest of this is going to be for Fluffy, but before we go see Fluffy, I got to grab my rat and we're going to go give it to Maya. So we're going to go do that right now. All right, you guys. So we're going to head over there to Maya right now. Actually, look in the distance. We have a nice, beautiful rainbow. Can you guys see that? No, nope, can't see it. Let's see if you guys can see it. Let me click this Very camera. Little. Very little. Right there to the right of the crane. Look at that. It's the one cool thing about South Florida is that in the evenings, we get really nice sunsets, we get rainbows and really cool things, and then it's just a nice little spot. Baby turkeys are doing great. They're getting real, real big. All six of them are doing amazing with the two toms, the dads right there. All right, I don't know if I guys told you guys yet, but right here, a papaya just started growing right here in Doris, our walkway. I decided not to cut it down because why not have a papaya tree growing? I tried to grow when it's at the red foot cage. It didn't grow. It wanted to grow here. Very weird. I didn't even plant it. Seeds got here somehow. And now it's growing amazing with no problem. So it's pretty dope. So we're gonna head this way. All the yellow foots are starting to come out. These animals are very, very, they're not nocturnal, but they like to come in the early evenings and uh, well, late evenings and early mornings because that's when it's not so hot. And in the jungles, that's when it's not hot either, obviously. So that's when they're moving around and doing their little thing. Uh, we've been having a lot of red foot starting to make nests and actually start digging. So that is a good sign. The red foot are doing amazing. This is the we need a name. I hope now that I name this animal, it doesn't get eaten by a predator. But this Rhode Island Red it literally is the only Rhode Island Red that stays on this side of the whole chicken coop area, or well, the chicken area, because she's just a special guy. She just stays over here. But she's pretty funny. So head over here this way, you guys. The female crane up top. She doesn't use her stand anymore. She likes to be up top on top of Maya's cage. Don't know why, but that's what she likes to do now. So head on over this way. And Maya is stretching her wings right now. She's looking amazing. So I'm gonna go inside of this enclosure. I'm gonna close the door behind you guys just for safety reasons so she doesn't fly out because she is full flighted. And if you realize, we have some sulcatas I threw inside of this cage to help bring down the grass because she does not like, um, what's that called? Weed whackers. So I really don't want to stress her out. So do natural, oh my gosh, she just took a big dookie. Uh, natural thing and just put, um, 
tortoises here and they just mow it all down. It's a great thing. Maya! Look, you want it? Come on, Maya. You gonna come get it? You coming for it? Look at it, Maya. There you go, girl. Here, let me grab the camera real quick. Uh oh. I don't know if you guys just heard that, but there was a hawk in the background and she just heard it too. Maya's right there. I actually had a pretty dope video on TikTok. You guys can check it out on TikTok. Of me uh, seeing Maya and everything. What are you doing, Maya? The crane's gonna get you. Yeah, I'm just looking at her. Maya, go get the rat. <clears throat> Everybody that sees this, like, you see those big old eyes she has? Zoom in. Those big old eyes. She looks right back at the camera and she's like, oh my god, what the heck is that third eye looking animal? Camera actually really spooks him out sometimes. But she's an amazing little girl right here. Come over here to her. It's okay, Maya. Hi, Maya. Hi, Maya. Hello. She is such a good, good owl. She loves to be touched and pet and everything. See her? She's living her best, best life. It is big old wing. It's a good girl, Maya. It's a good girl. She's like a big old parrot. Oh, yeah. She gets one nice rat every evening, and then sometimes we get a smaller rat just to mix it around because obviously in the wild, every rat's not going to be the same size. But yeah, she's an awesome little dude. She gets chicks and gets quails as well. But most of her diet is rats. But uh, let's keep on moving. And this is the sulcatas I was telling you guys about. There's one there. There's one in that corner. There's one in that corner. They'll just be here just for probably another week. Just so that they can bring the grass down. And then that will help out a lot. Alright, Maya. I'm leaving, okay? You get your rat, girl. So I like to always walk through the enclosures probably three times a day to make sure I'm not missing a nest in any shape or form, any way possible. As you can see, there's some parts that the grass is very tall in here. They really like it because they get, they have their own little trails going through here in all different parts. Probably in the next year, during uh, dry season, it's probably gonna all die. But I do have sprinklers now, so it's probably gonna help out. But we'll see, I'm not too sure. And I've been doing my research. I've been talking to a lot of my friends with cranes, and they're like, you have a lot of friends and family that walk around this area and it might not be the greatest idea to keep the cranes here so they might be getting rehomed to another part of the ranch somewhere that it's not a uh, a travel spot of some so much of different people because they're not the friendliest things and they're still young and they're gonna get kind of spicy so we might have to move this whole entire thing or just leave it here and make another one somewhere else I don't know we'll figure it out but that's not a problem we have plenty of spots here on the ranch to put these cranes anywhere without a doubt but uh, let's keep on walking and let's see what else we have in store for you guys. Well, first off, we still have to feed Fluffy. So let's go feed Fluffy. And on top of that, we have to go feed the goats. So let's go do that. All right, so now we are heading to Fluffy's area. The whole playground area is doing amazing. Uh, the goats have been going up and down with no problem. We have the two toms like I showed you earlier. They just follow you around everywhere. And as you can see now, we've had them now for what? I think about a year and a half ish now and as you can see their beard is almost a year well an inch long so that means they're pretty much a year old once they get about six inches then they're gonna be about six years old that beard grows about an inch a uh, year so it's pretty dope uh but all the animals are doing great i did a little video i always put little videos on my instagram and stuff of the animals all chasing us around and stuff it's really really cool and if you guys are interested and you're in south florida i have the baby donkey male available two people back down from him um they just certain problems when i make sure i sell an animal the animal has to go there for the rest of their life they have to commit to an animal that's gonna live to up to 15 to 20 years and uh, if they can't do that i'm not gonna sell them the animal so that baby male jack benny's son is still available and uh yeah hit me up if you guys are interested only south florida or anywhere in florida that's interested in picking them up but uh let's head over here and my boy fluffy is living his best life this guy is pretty freaking dope Wait him. okay 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 look at fluffy Fluffy, 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 fluffy. He is one special little dude. He just chills out, hangs out, eats his fruits and veggies. Well, that's mostly just veggies except the banana. But yeah, he's just living life, hanging out, doing good. Close this up, and then we'll come this way. So everybody knows it's food time, as you can see. Everybody's over there. The goats are inside their houses. Moors is right there, even though Moors has almost two and a half acres of grass to eat. She wants more hay. They always want more food. So you can head over here and you can check it out. The capybaras are gonna be coming right now. Look, here they come. They already know what's up. Give it two seconds. Watch. You can't see them because the other side of the metal. But in about two seconds, they know that I'm heading to the hay room and they're gonna have hay thrown to them. They're gonna sit right here where the metal's not showing and they're gonna squat and be like, where's my food? See, there they are. That's the male and the female's coming right behind. Hi, mister. And 
Hi, Missy. They are really, really dope animals. But yeah, they're just chilling right there. So let's come this way. And let me start distributing all the hay to all the different spots that they need to go to. We still have these two big wood spools that we have to uh, uh, place somewhere else, probably um, somewhere with the male goats or something like that. That's the little baby donkey right there. It's a dope little dude. He's looking pretty good. He has a little bit of mats. They're almost all off. We just pull them off, take them all down, brush them, but he's living his best life. He's a gorgeous little dude. Right, Benny Jr.? He is really tame, too. He hangs out with all the goats, all that stuff. We just actually restocked on with uh, hay. So the hay room is pretty stacked up with hay. It's pretty dope. You can check it out in here. I know, I know I'm not the biggest, biggest farm around, but I go through about 14 to 16 bales every two weeks. Uh, that's feeding the capybaras, the goats, and the donkeys, and mowers, of course. So this big old square, it might be a little dark. Can you guys see good? Or it's really yes, dark? Yes, not bad. Not bad? So mowers gets one big square. I cut out a big piece of the metal right here, so I don't have to walk all the way around every freaking time. You know, you gotta think smarter. Um, let's go over here, let's grab another square. I distribute the hay for the animals, for the goats at least in different parts because they are all girls in here and they will bully each other every once in a while. So I put a little bit on the floor, a little bit in the hay rack, in case sunshine is for seven. And as you can see, all the chickens know it is time to um, go up too. They all sleep up. See, everybody's up, everybody's up. All the chickens come inside of here. And actually, I do not, I've never made a chicken coop for these guys. I should, maybe in the future, but it's actually really, really safe for them to sleep inside of here with everybody because they got the donkey, they got the goats. No raccoons are really going to go inside of the enclosure. They get protected by all the animals, which is great. So it's kind of better for them to be over here because if I made a chicken coop far, far away over there in the corner, uh, the raccoons are just going to somehow figure their way in. They're raccoons. They're smart. If you've been seeing on my Instagram, we've been dealing with raccoons here on the ranch and we've been just sorting through them, catching them all and getting the heck out of here. All right, so we're going to put one piece here. The capybaras eat a lot of hay, but they don't eat a lot of hay. So I'm gonna keep one square there. And then this big piece right here, you guys can follow me around this way. I don't know if you guys can hear. Woo, woo, woo. Almost fell in the mud hole. I don't know if you guys can hear, but the white emu is drumming. Look how, look how aggressive she is. She chases off the male so much right now. But he has so much area to get away from her, it's not a problem. I'm not really worried about separating him. But my God, she is drumming so 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 loud now which is really dope so come on we'll walk over here and i'll show you the capybaras i'm literally showing you guys step by step on what i do every single evening 365 days out of the year because obviously everybody eats every single day there's no days off uh but it's not really a job because obviously it's something that i like to do it's what i love to do football everybody that knows football my oldest chicken she is probably reaching now about 13 years old and she's an only english phantom living her best life right there Capybaras are right here. I throw this like in the at night. I throw it right there in the top on the floor, and then in the mornings I give them a square inside their hay racks. So they have two little spots to graze from. But yep, they get hay every single day, and they get vegetables, and they get uh, their capybara diet as well. Pretty dope. And then they can just browse around whatever that's left that they haven't ate yet. Pretty dope. And now what we're really doing is just trying to like kill time here on the ranch because next couple weeks we have a lot of construction and things getting lined up which is going to be really dope to get done here uh look at these guys fight look at them fight mother and daughter they will beat each other up but again they have so much space to just run around get away from each other it's not a problem and they're goats they bully each other it's a normal thing all right so last up is so captain that's just how it is. It's you gotta put hay everywhere. If you don't put hay everywhere, they're all bully each other. Captain and Moors eat together all day long. But dude sits over there because he doesn't want to be bothered by Captain when he eats. So you have to give him a little bit to the side as well. And then Benny, all the way down over there, gets his own little square as well too. Well, a full square. But again, I don't want to separate him because if I feel like I separate him and I'm going to join him back later, it's going to be a hard way to do that. Once she's ready to breed, She'll let him get close and then she'll just do her, they'll do their thing. There you go. And that's pretty much the main reason why I love the property next door. The empty lot and everything with the trees and everything. You have that beautiful, beautiful 
sunset every single night from the west because the Everglades is out that way towards the west. And we got a nice sunset every single night. The pink orange skies. We come over here, and last but not least, for all the outside animals, for hay is about to be done. We just have Benny left. Benny boy, the dad of the baby donkey. There you go, Benny. All right, big boy. All right, big boy. Benny's a beautiful, beautiful mini donkey. Living his best life. And now uh, the cicadas are still completely open, able to roam and go wherever they like inside of this giant pasture. The emu always wants to be around me, but when I get close, she walks away. You remember before we used to hug her and everything? Once she started drumming, she became so, so like, just follows and keeps her distance. It's pretty funny. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, and um, yeah, I really appreciate every single one of you guys, and I will see you all later. Peace out, everyone.